Yo, the levels of creepy that this has gone into is f***ing wild. Hey, check out our Patreon in the link below. You'll have access to uncut and upcoming reactions, skits, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Your support goes a long way to helping us with more reactions and original content. Also, thanks for subbing. Set, Set the, the bell, bell for notifications. notifications. Your boy Rock Lee. Hey, if y'all haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Call me Can't Communicate, starting now. What's going on, everybody? It's Rock D. Lee. Direct and nasty. Jump into, hmm? Jumping into another Comey Can't Communicate reaction. Uh, last left off, we got introduced another character, Agari. Mm -hmm. She is also, or was socially awkward, like Comey, but not like Comey. Yes, she she has more of the Grace Syndrome, where if you're just looking at you too much, just <laughs> Crazy, ah, yeah. man! It was just the stairs. It's like she can communicate, but it's like it's forced. It's good on her. Like what I like that they showed in the last episode is she actually has a good coping mechanism, where like her mom comes through an angelic form and like encourages her to just do it. And then she like that's a good coping mechanism. That's positive thinking instead of negative thing. Somebody was thinking negative, like you can't do it. Just shut up. You weren't supposed to be the one to say that anyways. And then she just run off and wouldn't do anything. But her angelic mother in the back background coming and just caressing her sweet face and just telling her baby girl, you know, because her mom was looking fucking thick as fuck in the background, boy, angelic, literally from God himself. Did you see the golden background? God damn. But yeah. I'm smiling because I view that as director's coping mechanism because I view that as her inner self talking what? to you. I think that's her inner, inner self? What the fuck is that? What's her inner self? Wait, yep. what are you asking? Yup. You heard me. <laughs> Wait a second. What am I about to define here before we start having a debate? <laughs> define here yourself. Is that where we're going? Stop no. trying to break my coping mechanism. No, no, my man no. was bad and wearing nothing at all. Anyways, but yeah, yeah. No, on the real though, it was a good. It was good to see like her use a positive coping mechanism, and then have Comey also kick her in the ass and give her that extra push. And then it really is a good coping mechanism. Mm -hmm. that, that was actually like, wow, you talk positive about yourself. Good for you. Right? Especially after the bad talk she was doing by herself in the library. And she came back, like, yo, to, 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 like, to follow worked. up. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Positivity. So I believe that these odd friends are all going to have traits that Comey could benefit off of, even though they're weird. And now, after last one, now I'm inclined to think, like, maybe she's also going to help other people. Because she can't communicate, it's almost like talking to, like, yourself, like, almost talking to a mirror. So, like, people just say shit, and she'll just stare at them willingly until they crack and figure it out on their own. You ever had somebody that did that? I had this one football coach. Whenever you had a problem, you he like, all right, tell me your problem. And he'll just stare at you until you said what you That's thought the solution coaches, was. Bro, but okay, That's all coaches, bro. That's all coaches, bro? No, my other coaches didn't do that. This, this thing like, tell me your problem. And I'll tell you a problem. He'd look at me and be like, so what are you going to do about it? And I'm like, but I asked you. And he'll just stare at me. <laughs> and then and then I'll just say something. And he'd be like, no, do this. I'm like, oh, OK. And he, he just, he'll just stare at you until you say something. He's an alpha male, hey, bro. bro. Help he, me. Yeah. He was. I know, he was bro. massive. I respect oh, God, this. Terrifying. I respect him so much. I never met this guy, but I already have like a whole persona built out for him. That's an alpha male, bro. Nah, he is a man's man at so, that. Yeah, man. He, he's the kind of person that if you say something about your wife, you're not gonna slap him on stage. Ah, I tell you that. Yo. Much. <laughs> I tell you that, bud. You're not gonna slap him. I know, man. I know, there's a certain type, bro. He has a D1 linebacker. I would not slap this nigga. That yo, my man would have gone up and that coach would have looked at him and he's like, you know what? Nah, he had crazy eyes too. He had nah, really you know what? crazy stare. I'm just gonna accept my Oscar and chill tonight. All right. Anyways, uh, we're gonna jump into Kobe Can't Communicate, guys. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so for an action full discussion. It's gonna be on our Patreon. If you like our content, go ahead, hit the thumbs up, and drop a comment. Hit the bell for notifications, and if you see us on your homepage, make sure you click on our videos so we stay there. If you want to join the Rock D. Lee crew, go into the description, click on that Discord link, so you connect to us in the community. All right, let's jump into Comey Can't Communicate starting now. <laughs> Yo, their eye test is so much different from ours. Yeah, it's so simple. She's gonna get close. Look at everybody waiting. Even her hands blushing. She can't see. 
<laughs> well, she's a god. Oh, we have a new character. I'm just a humble subject. What? I don't think it's an actual. Co it's not an actual competition. She's making it one. Look how she views Comey. Oh my god. Her face. <laughs> Bro, this face. Below average, tough. <laughs> seated height? Why seated height? Bro, you have a certain height and you put an arch in your back? That's interesting. Oh, damn. Yo, Kome is tall as fuck, bro. Oh, she's heavier? It's so funny. She's spitting, actually. <laughs> Damn! They just roasted it for no reason! Poor Tadano. Yep. We're never gonna see our homie ever again. No, you're not. Oh shit, for real! Oh no. Oh, she's God. a creep. The Ziploc bag! The Ziploc bag! I've been telling you, bro! The Ziploc bag! You know what I mean? No, that crossed so many no, lines! it doesn't! Oh. Oh my God! That's the only demon. Yeah, no. No, I'm not with you with the hair. The moment, yo, the moment she started walking in the draft, that's when I was like, okay, that's a little creepy. And then she got the hair on the, ah, make that tongue do. Nah, the hair is creepy. I mean, yeah, but. Like, like, what you know about that hair? I'm like, nothing, nigga. No, Ziploc bag. Oh, Ziploc bag. Yeah! Our boy! Yeah, what the hell? Oh, she is a freak. Oh no, Najimi, watch out. <laughs> It's a fucking girl. Oh my god. This is not the kind of person to be friends with from what I gather. Am I tripping or is this not also tied on as like childhood friend, right? It's the same girl? We've been seeing this girl since like episode two or three or something. Yeah. One or two. Oh my god. This girl is something. Nah, nah. What does that mean? Pieces of me are in your food. That's the only reason somebody would say such a thing, bro. She said, I mix that meat with my bare hands. She's like, there's my skin flakes in it. Eat me, Komi-san. This girl's dangerous, bro. 
I promise you this girl's dangerous. Nah, she is, but it's interesting. She is crazy. She's a killer. That's the kind of yeah, person that kills no, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the kind of person You know what it was for me this time? I mixed the beef with my bare hands. That's what a murderer would say. Eat pieces of me. Let me be inside of you. Oh, she attacked him. Oh my God. That was her that took him out. Holy Has shit. That should be somebody did. I blame the ninja kid. I'm she such a ninja. She said I rely on you too much too. I'm such a ninja is, bro. Yo, she's a professional. Those knots, I've only seen those in videos. Bro, when I said she was a killer, I was on to something. 24. It's definitely a girl's room. It's her. Oh my god. I told you she's a killer, bro. Yeah, no. She's you... definitely going too far. I know he's not dead, but this is close enough. If you want to do this, you want to kill Yo, somebody. She is BDS of knots, bro. I'm just going to say it. She's even in his seat. Duh. Duh. That's one reason I realized she was the one who took him. I've never had a crush that went this far. She says this out loud. Oh. Look at her mouth. Bad things at my place. Okay, so she's being weird in front of everybody. I'm yeah, yeah, glad. Yeah, she literally I know, I know one or two of them were like clearly in front of everyone, but like. Nah, she crazy. <laughs> Where's Jack Bauer? Come save my homie Tadano. Nobody's looking for him. She is crazy, bro. She brought him to the crib with him locked in the room. She has to take everything off the wall. Oh, she gonna kill him. Forget it. She said the woods or the sea. That's why I bury you. I thought people were gonna jump at me because I was too far and I said she was a killer. Bruh, if you don't scream right now, I'm gonna lose my shit. No, no, he said rub it, your scent all over. <laughs> Again, don't stop my guy. Nah, I'm not saying quiet. You just told me you're gonna kill me. He is a mm? Mm? She's actually leaving the room. She's an idiot. <laughs> That's why she's going to leave, boy. <laughs> she's like, I'm going to leave them with a warning. Of course, Najime's going to open it, bro. Thank God for Najime. Thank God. <laughs> Nigga, no! No! I told you. Najime took one look at the ropes and knew it was some kinky shit. I was dead ass. <laughs> Wow. It hurts to remind you. Bro. He's gonna be a moon of fantasy after this. <laughs> the shapely part. <laughs> Yo, the levels of creepy that this has gone into is fucking wild. They're gone. Oh. Call me about to spit. Oh, she's just not phased. The extras. Yeah. I choose my own friends. You didn't make the cut. Because your weirdo behavior. 
Weirdo behavior. Co-sign the Ziploc bag part, but other than that, that was too far. Last time. <laughs> stayed! What? <laughs> He's shot. Najime is like, yo, Najime can't move. <laughs> it's supposed to be a sad scene, but we just moved on without her. No, is it because she relied on you too much or she was worried about you? It's the creaking for me. Oh. She doesn't want him to be hurt. Oh, she. Oh. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, okay. He was like, damn, so fast. <sighs> yeah, they really got to write a lot for Because of Me. Oh, uh, she's crying. You got it, my boy. Now he's moving in. Close the distance. Hit her with her own line. It's not up to you, it's up to me. What do you mean not like what, bro? You were cool until you did all this. She just kept it. Ah, she got it. This man is dying. <laughs> she said a whole goddamn sentence. Hurry, but she get out! Yeah! <laughs> We're in the goddamn moment. Oh, damn. I was like, yo, I'm gonna restraining order. <laughs> Why did it just end you? My bad for the kidnapping. She's, that's true though. That's true. <laughs> she should have used her words rather than put her hands on him. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna take herself out. Take the chopsticks from her. <laughs> oh, yes, we got permission. Oh my god, this is like <laughs> Oh my god, the turn so fast. Oh. Look at her scooting. Oh, I will not be this girl's friend, but whatever. Oh, good job. I'm a, I appreciate that. Yeah, earn it, girl. Work for your God. Yeah. Damn, she did it. Sometimes it's good to have a killer on your side, though. <laughs> no you. killer. Yeah. yeah. You need somebody that's willing to put their hands into the dirt. Some Commissioner Gordon shit, bruh. Ay, ay, ay. There, there, we'll pause this tomorrow. I'll die if Kobe hates me. Oh, that was, cause she stayed in the room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had a whole talk. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Oh, you see the club is growing? Cause they got uh, uh, Gari. What's the, this new girl? The Kobe son. <laughs> Yamai. I'm gonna call it Yamai. Yeah, Yamai is the I can't say it right. That is a Yamai is a dangerous stuff, person! Right. Very dangerous! Yo. So last episode, when you had that dog comment, you're like, nah, I'm crazy, I can't be thinking, right? 
Whatever you digging, just keep riding out. Because I was like, yo, this, this chick's a killer, man. That's some killing tendencies, bro. I know a killer when I see one, right? Now I said, I'm a killer. The hair licking, that was the killer moment. It's like, killers do that. Killers get tufts of hair, and they sit around, they sniff it, and they try to predict what you're going to do. They do a little witch magic, a little fire, a couple trigrams, pentagrams and shit. They start praying to you, dancing around that shit. They fucking trying to give you good health. Yo, it be wild, son. That's some murderous shit. What? How many hair follicles have you collected, bro? You, see you be mean how many have I lost, bro? <laughs> what? <laughs> because you were trying to collect these samples and then- I'm just telling you what I've walked in on. The situation I've had to defuse? Goddamn. What the hell you doing with this hair follicle? Break that shit. Why you got so much of my barber's hair? What the fuck going on? God, that shit is crazy, man. P pluck it out. Put you it know in. it's bad when they keep a spray bottle, keep the hair fresh. That's when you know it's creepy, bro. Yeah, that's why you have a lot of details on it. That's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> No, He's not projecting. me. I just ran into situations. I, I've seen have. some shit, bro. Of course you I've have. seen some shit. Of course you have, man. But no, nah, that shit, that, that was funny. I, I, and the thing is, you're going to see it. So look, look, I can see why Comey, first of all, episode one, I was like, nah, fan service, right? But hear me out. Kind of. I say this with a grain of salt. Some of the, some of the way of, some of the focus that they did on episode one, in my opinion, they kind of pull back from it, in my opinion. They have some funny scenes here and there, right? But now they're spreading out the love, right? But in my opinion, episode one had a nice draw. You're gonna watch this, we have some nice art, nice drawing style, you're gonna appreciate this, right? Yeah. And then we're also gonna be building up these dope characters. Because imagine when we get to 12 episodes into the second season, all these weird characters, you got this chick that wants dog pictures acting slutty, then you got this chick that's ambiguous, okay? Then you get this chick that's murdering people. She's in love with Comey. In love with Comey. There's a knight. And that's the other thing. This girl, in my, if, if I remember correctly, this girl, Yamai, Yamai, has been in the background from episode she one has, or no, two. She, has, she I, talks to the knight girl. Cause oh, Toto, she does. Toto, she would, does. Toto would go and try to do something and she was in the group and she shut him down. Yeah. She's been the person that shuts him down because she's the oh, greatest of yes. people. So that is his old childhood friend. So I was trying to figure out your mind because Toto had one person in that class that he's known since like middle school. And I wasn't sure if that was, if this was the same girl or not. It, but if it's, it's not, a, it's not Najime? It was another person. It was oh. Najime and it was Yamai. Oh, okay. Because you confirmed this now. You said when he walked up to the group with the girl with the night armor, the only reason he walked up to the group was because he knew Yamai and Yamai was the childhood friend that he's known. To correct what I was saying, he went up to that group and he spoke to Yamai, but I didn't know if Yamai was already his pre-existing connect. Supposed to be pre-existing connect, but she doesn't claim him. That's that's all it is. She don't claim him. He's like, oh yeah, we've known each other since middle school. She's like, why the fuck are you talking to me? You're not cool enough to be anywhere near me, let alone next to Komi-san. That's why I remember that scene specifically. I'm like, that's supposed to be your childhood friend? All right. Damn. I, 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 I think what you're, I think how you remember this is accurate. Um. But yeah, it's just gonna be this crazy dynamic of characters. And now, like I said, like characters who I'm like, yo, why don't they explain anybody? Why don't they explain them to us? Or are we just, we're just gonna glaze over it? Nah, we're gonna be introduced to them. But again, it's also nice that not every character is just gonna be interjected. Like you saw Agari since like episode two. Yo, episode one I episode saw Episode one, they made her important in episode- Four or three or something. Three, made her important in episode three. So yeah, yeah. All these characters that we're seeing in the back, like Ninja Guy might have his thing. I don't oh, know. Oh, you don't have his thing, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, this shit was hilarious, man. I thought how the episode started was funny. It looked like it was like a day in the life of Tata now. And she literally just hijacked the episode. Literally, by hijacking the M Well, not the MC. Tata knows the MC? No, Comey's the MC. Tata knows the MC from Comey's. No, doesn't matter. She hijacked the episode. Very profound question. Who's the MC? Tata know or Comey's song? It is, it's Sasuke, oh no, no, the show's named Naruto. Yes, he's Sasuke, bro. She's Naruto, if I had to think about it this way. Wait, They're wait. both MCs. But who the name, who the show name after? It's that simple, bro. When they, when, <laughs> when they have this argument, that's what they say, but who's the show named after? <laughs> yeah. But they're both the MC. <laughs> <laughs> it's that simple, bro. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Comey can't communicate with us. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. 
full reaction and discussion is going to be on our Patreon. If you like our content, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and drop a comment. Let us know. Hit the bell for notifications. And if you see us on your homepage, make sure you click our videos so you stay there. If you enjoy the Rock the Elite crew, go on to the description, click on that Discord link so you connect to us and the community. Until next time, Rock D Lee. D Nas T out. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, please go ahead and do so. The link is in the description of this video, and I actually tweet back. Much love, Rock T. Lee. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm gonna laugh. Okay. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell for notifications, and check out our Patreon for full and upcoming reactions. What?